and welcome back. So Kia Sedona again, 2.9 CRDI diesel between 2009, 2006, and 2010. Um, so where we're where we're working here with the uh, timing belt, maybe it's a good idea to to think about the camshaft seals. Uh, they are just the rubber o-rings which hold the oil inside of the engine engine head. So when they leaking, they leaking. We got the one one under there, and the second one just there. When they start to leaking, they leaking uh, very close to moving belt, which is not very safe. Uh, so to take access there, only if we need to replace them, uh, that would be a horrible job because everything needs to be removed. In our case, we got a car with the engine out, so the access is much, much more easier uh, to there. So uh, the camshaft seal, the average price is just just around uh, around 10 pounds. So we'll be shame to start this job for 10 pounds or 20 pounds for two of them uh, when the engine is back to, uh, to life. Uh, to remove them, we need to unscrew these two bolts from here. Uh, it's not an easy job. It's not easy because uh, the uh, the torque for these bolts is quite high, comparing to a service manual. Uh, let's say that's one of these. Yeah. So we got uh, between 100 and 120 newton meters, which is quite high. Is a is a is a is a solid, very strong bolt. So what we do really, the average wheel uh, bolt is 130, 120. So we are very close to the high torque. Okay, so we need to, in my case, we need to um, unscrew the, the, the bolt uh, opposite side to, to clock. So we need to tie this uh, with, uh, with the rubber strap. That's the wrench which, uh, which I like to use. Uh, tie them. Don't use the chain story or um, a metal one because you damage the, the, uh, the wheels, which is... Uh, working together with the belt later so that will be uh, will be danger to use so we use this uh, rubber wrap wrench with 13 and then uh, number 19 which is here yes no sorry 17 number 17 here and then uh, we need to lose this to two nuts here yeah? bolts so with this with the strap is a simple job when we lose them the wheel washer, solid washer, we need them back. Uh, the wheel's going out. That's the inlet manifold. We got the indication of IN for inlet, so we know they will back to the same uh, to the same shaft. Lay it on the side. And then we got the other one which is here. That's the exhaust one. And as we can see, is uh, there is a EX, maybe not too clear, yeah, it is there, EX, so exhaust. And the same thing, again, with the, with the rubber strap, I will suggest the rubber strap, number 17, we need to lose and unscrew this, uh, this bolt with the gelt, with a very solid uh, washer. And in this case, we got uh, two points here. For a position of this um, this wheel, so when you remember R was this one close to the green on the top, with the position of the mark for exhaust on the on the right side. So when we when we putting back, we not do this in 90 degrees wrong. Okay, so let's say that's the that's the second one. Okay, the next story is. Uh, we need to unscrew this, uh, we need to remove the cover really. The cover which is the, the bottom one, which we don't need here. Okay, so we need to remove the, uh, the six, six bolts, small bolts which holding the uh, bottom shield, this black one. Which we got a one, two, three here, and over here another three. Um, okay, so I made this story a little faster. Two. 
three, four, five, and six. Okay, so we got the six bolts removed, and now the shield maybe goes away. Uh, yes. So the first symptom where we remove this, and we notice any oil heavy leaking on the bottom or wet story here uh, or there, it might indicate, like in my case, it might indicate uh, there is a leak around. So I will suggest to replace them. In my case, I know the, 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 the leaking story is not the same ring, this rubber o ring here, but the problem was the, the gasket, rocker cover gasket which is um, uh, badly leaking around and I know about this that's one of the reasons why we replace everything around here okay so now we've got a perfect access to remove camshaft oil seal thank you very much